So in this video, I want to talk about the series known as Seki Ray, as this is an anime that first came out in July of 2008. So it's been quite a while since the anime first came out. And of course, then you've got Seki Ray, which is called Pure Engagement, which is the second season, which came out July of 2010. Both were single cores. One was the first one was 12 episodes. The second one was 13 episodes. And then of course, you've got two additional special episodes. One came out 2009, March, and the other one came out August of 2010. Now, as far as this series goes, this is one of those where honestly, in this modern day and age, it would probably be one of those super controversial animes, which, hey, we get them all the time, so it's always fun to see them come out and see people absolutely lose their minds over animes like this. And this is a manga that is completely finished, done and dusted, packed up, it's all finished. But there is enough material for one more season, as I've got the mangas, I've read the mangas, and it is one of those where it's like, yeah, there is enough material for just one more season if you really want to squeeze it out. But it's also one of those where it's like, it's very clear that in this modern day environment, and especially with the studio, it's probably a done and dusted deal. Now, the studio that worked on it is known as Seven Arcs. They are known for other series like over the moon for you and they have done quite a bit of work on that of, of, from ranging from two seasons to OVAs etc and I mean quite a few OVAs so it's one of those that the studio is known for working on multiple projects but they they seem to have not have done as many projects after Sekirei but then kind of picked up a little bit more as the years have gone on so it does feel like they have grown in scale a little bit but that's just my observation, especially when it comes to Over the Moon for You, they definitely have put a lot of bit of time and effort into, and that's a separate video altogether, but I don't think this will ever get a third season unless something drastically changed, like there was some like big push for like, hey, you know, we want to finish the last stages of this, and I'm just like, okay, fine, do that, but I just don't really think they would ever go that far. Now, as far as merchandise goes, it's pretty much done and dusted. Like, there isn't really any merchandise. If you're lucky, you could probably find some stuff online. But there really isn't that much. So, it's one of those where it's like, if you're a big fan of the series, I highly recommend just going, finding the manga, and just finishing off that last bit of the manga. And there's a little bit extra at the end. Little, like, kind of like bonus uh, chapters. And that's about it. That's, that's sadly as far as it goes. If anything does change anything major i will definitely update the channel when we have more information but it's just one of those where it's a closed book i don't see this ever getting another season i'd be severely like very shocked if it does get a third season but it is what it is so again i'd love to know your thoughts in the comment section down below who are your favorite characters what did you like about the series and again if you like this video hit the like subscribe and i'll see you beautiful nerds in the next video